Okay, so in this video, we will determine whether this series converges or diverges. Now, if you recall, we already proved in a previous video that this series converges with the help of the integral test. But if you recall, this required a substantial amount of work. It was a one-page solution. But here, we can do much better. As there is an exponential function, we can use, instead of the integral test, the ratio test. And as we are about to find out, the ratio test will give us a one-line solution. So, the terms we are summing over are of the form n over e to the n. This is our a n, the sequence of terms we're summing over. And if you recall, the ratio test says to look at the limit as n tends to infinity, in absolute value of a n plus 1 over a n. And now we can substitute a n plus 1 is the n plus 1 term of our sequence, so we have to replace n by n plus 1, which will give us n plus 1 over e to the n plus 1. And as we're dividing by a n, we are simply multiplying by the reciprocal of a n, which is e to the n over n. So two things. As every term in the expression is positive, we can drop the absolute value. And now we can simplify it by combining the terms that go together. So e to the n over e to the n plus 1. Well, we can subtract the exponents. So e to the n plus 1 minus n will leave you with an e on the bottom, so 1 over e. And n plus 1 over n, n plus 1 over n. Let us divide through each term now by n. Which gives us n over n is 1 plus 1 over n. And now we have a trivial limit. As n tends to infinity, 1 over n shrinks to 0. And so we're left with 1 times 1 over e, which is simply 1 over e. And as e, if you recall, is approximately 2.71828, then e is larger than 1. Therefore, 1 over e is strictly less than 1. And if you recall, the ratio test says, in the limit as n tends to infinity, if the absolute value of a n plus 1 over a n is strictly less than 1, then the series of a n converges absolutely. And so we're done. And of course, it converges absolutely by the ratio test. So we can simply write our t for ratio test. And that's it. And make sure you look over the solution that this series converges with the integral test to appreciate how nice, in this case, the ratio test turns out to be. And the reason is why, from now on, when you look at something like this, you should never think of the integral test but the ratio test is because of the presence of the exponential function in our expression.